everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your Daily Dust for Thursday, November 9th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's also a timeless reading. I'm still in a series of thick border decks, and the Lover's Path Tarot, I believe, is a good one to demonstrate that. This is one of those decks that I couldn't trim even if I wanted to because the wording is within the edge and I don't know it's I just feel like also it's kind of you just I don't maybe see like on this side it just looks like oh yeah I could totally trim that maybe just one side but not the bottom and then that wouldn't match the back and the front wouldn't match this is one of those dilemma decks that I'm like no there's just no way to trim it <laughs> and, and so I have to accept it accept it for what it is a white bordered deck that I don't normally like but it's okay because it is an amazing deck as far as substance concerned it's all about famous romantic couples and it's really cool so let's get into it I'm gonna give it a good shuffle and then we're gonna pull from the middle. And most of these decks, you have to shuffle. You can't, they're not that bendy. These thick kind of decks. The, the ones that are just really larger than the regular tarot size, which is 2.75 by 4.75. These are slightly more oracle size, the ones that I've been featuring. All right, let's see what we get. We have, ooh, Queen of Cups. There you go again, you guys. I keep coming out in the cards. Okay, this, there's Isold. She's Tristan's girl. And we have the Two of Staves. It was in reverse, and I don't normally do reversals. Oh, look at that. We have Romeo right there. <laughs> but uh, I like that, though. He wants to give her something but uh, I I'll read both both versions okay and then we also have oh beautiful triumph Dionysus and Adrian I like that 21 of uh, the the world card okay let's let me frame this up nicely and see what we get in this deck the Queen of Cups is about soulfulness, emotion, inspiration, and receptivity. This is ma emotional mastery of all the suit of the cups, and it represents art and beauty and intimacy and love, and also seductive emotions and the ability to express love, to nurture others. And it is the, the suit of cups is represented by Tristan and Isolde, in the Lover's Path Tarot, the Suit of Cups represents the path of emotion associated with Tristan and Isolde, and they represent desire, and the, um, which is number seven, and the eighth of the 22 uh, major arcana cards. Well, to, that's, that's not eight, that's seven. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> desire. And the story of Tristan and Isild represents um, a heady example of lives ruled by extreme emotions, such as love, desire, sorrow, yearning, and anger. And so there, there's, there could be a longing. And sometimes uh, when there's been too much separation or too much longing, there sometimes becomes um, resentment and manipulation are some of the negative things that come through. So let's see what happens with the two of staves. I feel like there's a person coming through, but it did want to come out in reverse. So let's see what's going on here. The two of staves is uh, new ventures and partnerships and ideas. And it's the beginning of a new adventure or venture of some kind of venture. And it's helpful influences in a dynamic partnership and in transforming inspiration into action. But in reverse, um, it's something that loses momentum after a promising start. And there could be disappointments here and frustration and imp impatience and some kind of help needed to get this motivated again, to get this fired up again, to, to transform this into action because it feels like it's 
it's kind of stuck, you know. And two of staves, I never normally call it stuck energy, but in the wands, which is staves, the two and the three, wands representing fire and action, but the two and the three resemble a lot like a pentacle, pentacles, or resembles a lot like swords, you know. It's not, it, it, sometimes you get into your head, or sometimes you get into more of a grounded energy and the action is all there's action there but it's not visible there's a, a longing a desire a yearning a passion a readiness gathering resources but there there the next step needs to be action and actual physical action that's behind all of this built up energy and there's a lot of energy here. Normally I see the two of staves as a positive sign, but it can't can't be fully positive unless there is the first step, unless action actually happens out of the preparation. Um, yeah, the plans, this the planning, the future vision. You have to, see, if you see it, that's great. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna take my, painting my kitchen for example, I haven't started yet. It's been in my head, it's been a vision, and I keep using different little excuses. Well, I gotta get a new paintbrush. So I took a step towards the direction. I bought a paintbrush, okay? I have the paints, I have the paintbrush. Now all I have to do is physically start doing the thing that I'm envisioning. And it's like, I can't, you know, there. I've done the steps that I needed to before, or I still need to clean the kitchen a little bit, and then I'll be able to paint. And actually, I was like, first I gotta do my daily dust before I start to paint. In other words, you have plans, you just have to put these plans into action and stick to it. If you have to write things down and check them off the list to keep yourself focused, then do that. But I think you are moving in the right direction because you have triumph here. You have Dionysus and Adrian and definitely triumph in achieving things, but especially in coming together with your love in your love life. So yeah, the world is uh, expansion and success and travel and closure and Princess Adrian helped Theseus slay the Minotaur by teaching him to use a golden thread as a path within the labyrinth where the Minotaur lived. And Adrian thought they would live together forever, but Theseus abandoned her upon the island of Naxos. Bereft as she was, Adrian did not know she was fated for greater love, Dionysus, god of the divine intoxication. <laughs> He loved Adrienne for her passionate bravery and loyalty. Now a goddess by marriage, she went on to live in a blissful triumph with her immortal husband. So, you know, even I feel like some of this could be for some of you who maybe had a faux flame or thought somebody was the one and then your true twin flame comes through or some some kind of idea like that. Some Somebody you put a lot of faith and uh energy into and then it turned out it just wasn't the right person for you or at least not your happily ever after in this lifetime you know I mean even even twin flames don't necessarily have their happily ever after in this lifetime but they are certainly great people to influence and inspire and help us along our paths and maybe it's just your amazing soulmate that came through to give you the actual physical tangible life that you desire and I feel like you know you could have shifted your longing and and longed for this now what if you are in a long distance relationship with somebody I feel like that is also going to overcome this distance and that the plans that you're making will actually manifest into real physical actions that get you physically together and then physical embrace and holding each other and so um it's it's also you know this this is definitely because it's a major arcana it's very supported by the universe and outside energy angels and it's like it's it's a 
it's a couple here that is divine and supported highly by by angelic and um, universal and high level energy so and it's also a happy closure to a story it's like the happily ever after and a happy closure to a particular phase of life that may have been struggling it could be for a lot of people out there it could be like your um Saturn return is finally done and you've been through so much during the Saturn return and now you can breathe easy and um, this is also about travel like I said and communication and so I feel very much you will be able to hold the one you love soon enough she she's holding this string I feel like that represents this connection that's that's always been between you and it's never died and you'll find each other. I think you will definitely find each other. Yeah. <laughs> and I and it could be that, you know, that the, there's a person here just waiting for just the right moment to make their move. And they had a certain strategy and a certain plan. And you've been patient and kind. And that's all you needed to do. Just be receptive, receptive patient, and kind. Whoever you see yourself as. And whatever energy you feel you're in or you could be a little bit of both too you could be the one that's receptive but also receptive in a very energetic way where you're manifesting through visualizations and things like that as well nevertheless a union is at hand again <laughs> we keep getting unions and triumph and the culmination and the happily ever after and i hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust mm -hmm.